Hi, everybody. I'm Kristen Casado, and I'm doing it local with, look who joins me now, Ann Nyberg, with an absolutely beautiful brand new venture in Westbrook. Tell us all about it, Ann. You know, I decided that I would venture out and try to be creative, and so I took a little idea called Annie Mame, which used to be a blog, and I turned it into a little corner, retail corner of the world, and it's vintage. It's 1920s all the way up through 1950s, and um, some things from Miami that are kind of cool and swanky, martini glasses, and things that I knit, things that I sew, anything that I love, I put into a retail shop. Amazing. And where is it so that folks can know? It's at Venatucci Home, which is in Westbrook, Connecticut. And I'm nestled in with a bunch of other little um, boutiques, which I love. There's things to eat here. There's shop unique gifts is what's so great about it. Mm -hmm. And tell me about this and how completely different it is from what I used to do what you do, TV. Well, the news is um, a storyteller, and I've been a storyteller for my entire life. It started with a, um, a journal when I was eight years old. So now I'm sort of telling stories through retail, and because it's vintage, and everybody has a story, and I'm carrying a line of um, jewelry that uh, gives back to an orphanage in Cambodia. I have a line of dolls that gives uh, missionary work um, in Berlin, Germany. So everything has a story that I'm carrying and I love that. And you have a red bar, which you hope, I guess, to have a lot of conversations around. Tell me about that. I have a red bar that I found on eBay that got trucked here from Indiana. And my hope is that I can do a lot of philanthropy here and that I can have conversations around the bar and that um, it can be a place for, for uh, demonstrations, conversation, all of that. Now, your big focus now and your message to a lot of people, including younger folks and people in the middle of maybe a career changes, always reinvent. Tell me about that. I think when the bottom dropped out of the economy in 2008, a lot of people got very scared. What am I going to do? They've either lost their job, worried they're going to lose their job or have to reinvent. And so I think this is sort of my way of doing something a little different, you know, still telling stories on the air at night, but being around creatives. And because on NetworkConnecticut.com, I started that two years ago, I've been writing about little businesses and how they ha have to try to profit and, and go forward. And so now I've sort of dipped my toe in the water too, just to see what it was like. So someone has to write about you and about Annie well, No, I'm just having fun. And if it doesn't work, everybody gets gifts at the end of the year. See? <laughs> all right. For those of us on Twitter and Facebook, et cetera, give me all your hashtags and all your ads and all that. Right. Well, I'm Ann Nyberg on Twitter. I'm Ann Nyberg on Facebook. Um, I write Network Connect Connecticut.com, which is all about people, places, and things. And now there's AnnieMain.com, which will also be a blog, but I'll write about what's going on in the store. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Congratulations and good luck. All right. We are doing it local with Ann Nyberg.